Hello and welcome. This is going to be another trial and error video. I was, I've been thinking to get back on WordPress blogging. It's been 10 years. I was a blogger. Uh, I stopped blogging around 2012. I was blogging ever since I was maybe 15, 16. I use Blogger. Uh, Blogspot. Mm, there, uh, then Microsoft had Mice Space or something like that. No, not MySpace. MySpace was a separate company. Microsoft had Spaces. Yeah, they had Spaces something. And then uh, I did WordPress for a long time. Then I gave up. Now I was thinking to just go and check it out. Uh, so it's this uh, not pro, uh, particularly for this platform it's for something else but I just wanted to see AWS light sale if, you, if we go to pricing we can see that basically what they are saying is that is three dollar fifty cent per month for, for these specifications and I was like hey that's pretty good for Windows it started eight probably because of uh, the licensing fees involved but they are uh, one terabyte well oh, it's about the same all right so this should be more than enough but I'm not interested in this uh, what uh, what is included is a static IP address management DNS one click SSH you can SSH into your um, instance powerful API everything but I mentioned oh there is RDP yeah. that's a more desktop for Windows so for Linux it's SSH but one thing is missing that's SQL SQL that we need for our WordPress installation so if I go through this I will have to get it separately but instead I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere WordPress it is WordPress instance five dollar USD per month first year free CDN distribution I don't know how much it's gonna be the second year uh, six to get your WordPress site delivered around the world so it's gonna be it's gonna cost six dollars per month and here it is if you go with the something else there is the um, breakdown but we're gonna go with AWS Light Sale WordPress, and let's see. Launch a WordPress site in minutes. Okay. Sale for free. It's a. It's offering free. Let's try. I am a root user. I don't know where my phone is. It's gonna ask me for a one-time. Um, what's that Q? And that was wrong okay good maybe I didn't put uh, wow finally okay I really don't know what my password is and the code so on the phone you have the Google Authenticator app basically you go launch it I can see where it is okay and it's one time code so rather than they send you an, um, a text message it works with this uh, authenticator app as well so I don't have an instance right now I'm in light sale this should be my account so create instance probably And let's see I'm gonna go with Linux WordPress WordPress multi-site is basically if you want multiple peoples, multiple peoples to uh, create their uh, be able to create their uh, blog so basically it will be for example you have XYZ.com mine will be Imran.xyz.com second person for example my brother he will be Usman.xyz and so on 
So Joomla, I did uh, played with it back in the day, but it's like content management system. Uh, launch script. No, I'm gonna just play with it. So right now, choose your instance plans. Three out of five, fifty cent. First three months free. First three months free. What happened to that whole year deal? Identify your instance. Let's say Demon. key only tags and not create instance. I have my 512 MB RAM, one virtual CPU, 20 GB SSD, it's pending, and it's in Virginia. We recommend GoDaddy Pro. And don't show this again. I don't like GoDaddy. Well, they, they, they used to be good, but then their pricings and everything, especially um, they are very good for starters. Starter means maybe 10 people come to your website. But uh, once you start hitting maybe a thousand people per hour or maybe 10,000 people, then it really slows down. You have to be creative. You have to go and do certain, you know, for example, just to make your traffic uh, uh, specific to your domain, you have to go and block out the domain, uh, sorry, the images, outsourcing and all that. But still, uh, I upgraded what was recommended. Uh, site was still being impacted. In the end, I was like, forget it. But that, but that was a different site. Uh, I was managing it for somebody else. Um, not my blog. My blog never got that kind of traffic. All right, so it says running, and I have my instance, I believe. Now I'm gonna see what is at that address. Are we gonna see the WordPress uh, ad, uh, the admin page or whatever you wanna call? Probably not because the reason is we never ran that script, the script that it was asking. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video here and see if I want to continue on camera or just wanna go and play with it on my own. Oh man, what a bummer. I don't have a database right now. So that's what it was saying. If I create a database, it's gonna be another extra 250, probably. And my SQL, and it's gonna be choose your plan fifteen dollar USD. No, standard. It's still fifteen. Or Postgres, it's still fifteen. So that's not doable. That's definitely not doable pick your database click clicks okay we're not dabbling into a database that $15 per month, that's not what uh, I was thinking. Then it's definitely not the thing for us. I can SSH from here, manage. Let's see what manage has. There is no database. Storage, maybe under there, system disk, that's just a disk. Okay, additional attach this, no, connect, connect to your instance, use your browser. Not good. So I have to go and dig where the WordPress, uh, oh, there is it. WordPress getting started guide maybe it installed the database on the 
um, same instance but that uh, that gonna actually hog down the virtual CPU when you buy a hosting basically you go and get the database connection and add it into your uh, WordPress installation so let's see where it is say it's talk about SQL database no mention of database anywhere all right so let me go ahead read it and then i'm gonna unpause the video all right so it looks like i have my answer right here this portion so it does come with a database that's built in somewhere in there you can see at the address it's bitnami and if you can see on the left one uh, you can see it's bitnami right there and right there so it's the official form and that's when we're gonna need it so we can continue following this process and see if I get to the WordPress dashboard let me pause the video and figure it out furthermore all right so I clicked here connect using SSH this popped up came I am connected but notice the address it's a class B private address meaning that I am connecting through a bastion host probably uh, the next step involves me typing in this to get my password and obviously I'm not gonna uh, do that on camera let's pause and go further all right so I did get my password now you can try this one <laughs> just kidding it's not my password so sign into your WordPress website now here is the tricky part it wants me to go to that web address and that is the web address let me pause the video oh in this instance I use a default key pair so probably I have to do download this key pair I am not sure uh, let's see pause the video I'm gonna go try to connect to that uh, link and I will report interestingly I do have the hello world blog yeah but that's uh, definitely WordPress it's a little bit oh, it's just a theme so I have to go and start uh, playing with theme but that address uh, the your IP address yes it opened up this one now I have to find the admin panel maybe admin right there let me pause it here again all right so interestingly that uh, password I got is not working now it says that it's just using your default key pair I'm gonna go download that and see where it takes me I'm gonna pause the video here again so that key I did download it uh, so that is for SSH how to log into this WordPress lost your password that's a good one I believe we never created a password we never run the script and all that there you go so I here I have the instructions so basically that is the place we have to go if I go to just WP login it's not gonna work we have to amend it a little bit probably that NAMI index nothing to see here yeah I know So that is the public IP address slash bitnami slash index and I don't see a pass maybe here I should enter admin nope So WP admin. I remember having this issue for some reason. Now I can't. That was a bad uh, configuration file. All right. So I 
All right, so I read this, followed it, and that worked. So basically, do not copy paste it, uh, type it in. Now, first thing first, let's change the password. Customize your site. So this is the back end. This is you can do everything. Since we do have that initial uh, blog post, meaning there is a database that's running somewhere, it's been provided for this. Uh, so I can confirm it's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark of $3.50 a month to maybe $6, somewhere. I will update if it's not the case, but let's go and check the settings. The password sh field should be somewhere in here, general writing, reading, maybe in privacy or tools. Let's check privacy. That's just a privacy policy. Users, administrator, is there a password field? No, it's just profile. Hmm. All right, so I will go ahead and play that uh, in the back end uh, off camera. But uh, we successfully have do have our uh, blog, whatever. I'm gonna set uh, maybe make a post just to make sure. Add new. Welcome to the blog editor. Okay, okay. Let's go add title. Post test post choose a block just testing if everything is working as intended no need to put tags anything just publish it says publish if we go we post we do have and without a database connection this wouldn't work so very good it's working i'm gonna wrap the video here i hope you like this video if you have please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one